So we've been working on this project, um, Fun in Fitchburg, since 2009. And it's um, an anti-obesity effort. And it has involved um, many stakeholders. Over 100 now, stakeholders. We've grown. So we started in 2009 with 25 um, folks interested in addressing youth obesity. Um, at that time, um, a BMI report came out um, of BMIs collected in the schools um, from DPH and Fitchburg youth ranked second highest BMI in the state at that time. So we knew we needed to do something about it, not only here in Fitchburg, but it's a national epidemic. So we knew that um, we needed to do something in order to reduce the obesity rates because kids um, was the first generation that they were going to live um, sicker lives and um, die earlier than their parents. So, and you know, obesity is linked to so many chronic conditions. So um, we really felt that you know there's so many um, barriers that. Um, prevents people from eating healthy and being physically active. So we wanted to take a look at making that healthy choice so that you had access to fresh fruits and vegetables and um, access to water and to safe place spaces and make that easy. So we were taking a look at um, policies within the city and environmental factors. And so, I think one of the most important mm -hmm. pieces of this whole thing is this isn't a program. Yeah, this yeah. is about policy system environmental change, which is such a different mindset from what right. um, traditional programming is right. all about for health. And it really takes a look at um, the socio-ecological model um, and just the framework where you um, plan public health policies and educations and program is great. You know, so doing a nutrition class or an exercise class um, can be very beneficial for the few people that you are servicing. Yeah. Um, what Ann was talking about around environmental changes or policy changes are things that um, will help a broader impact and have a broader impact on a larger number of people. And also that when the funding is gone, these changes are in place. So they're a little bit more sustainable. We um, first went out and did a community-wide assessment. It involved focus groups with youth and with residents. Um, we actually used a evidence-based tool from um, the Center for Disease Control called the Change Tool, and it takes a look in different sectors of your community. So the community at large being one, healthcare, schools, um, community-based institutions, institutions and, and sites. all of those settings, what are the policies and environment look like related to healthy eating and active living? And a lot of assets in the city bubbled up from that. First of all, there was a lot of um, stakeholders committed to wanting to do something. We, um, in all those sectors, we had champions who really um, stood out and wanted to do something. And that, and our mayor, too, really wanted something. So we had commitment from um, institutions, from leadership, from the start. And I think that was really important. Um, the second thing that came up as a really big asset was all of the um, parks that the city has. Uh, we were amazed. We got on a trolley and we toured all the parks. And Fitchburg has over 30 parks, 18 of them um, active parks. And people who have lived in the city their whole lives never even realized they were there. So although we knew we had these assets in um, your neighborhood in the background, we knew that they needed a little bit of work to get people to know that they were there and to um, get them even utilized more. Um, another asset that at the time that we um, knew about was there was a farmer interest in farmers markets um, as well as community gardens. So we started to do a lot of work around our parks and around um, these farmers markets and the community gardens. And um, as Ann said, our partnership has now grown um, to over a hundred different stakeholders depending on their um, level of expertise and in what area that we're working on. We started and at 20. I remember brainstorming 
with the Board of Health Director Steve Curry yeah. in the beginning and sitting around a table and thinking who from these sectors would be important to make these right. changes. So, I mean, in three years, it's really grown just exponentially. Right. Um, we got funding um, initially um, through the city of Fitchburg, um, a Mass in Motion um, grant, which was from um, the Department of Public Health as well as a partnership with some um, private um, insurance companies. And um, it was very strategic that these funders wanted to have the money go through the city because they really felt that you know getting the city buy-in with local um, community-based organizations was really important to make this work and I think that was real was very important Thank and you. our board the board of health director Steve Curry has really um, been a champion yeah. for this and has um, been you know, bias the, the whole way. Mm -hmm. What sort of things uh, are you guys doing in the community? Um, well, we, um, there's many parts that we've done, but um, we have always been on the board, like the, the meetings, we've always been involved in all the fun and fit meetings, and then um, the subcommittee meetings, we all t like are part of those. So that's a great way that we were involved because they really listened to us. Like, um, you would think that we would just be like, the kids sitting in the corner but we were really like um, involved in all the conversations that we've had and then we've also done a lot of um, outreach like we just anytime we can find somewhere in the community to go we um, make sure to go and have all of our information there and be able to answer any questions that we have and stuff um, or they have and we um, did over the summer I'll talk about what we did and then they can do talk about other things but over the summer we did stuff for the state we did a lot of assessments um, going to the active parks in Fitchburg which we did about 18 parks we had to visit them twice and we had um, a f assessment that the state gave us to do the so play assessment and we like would have to see who was in the parks what they were doing and stuff so that was a huge project that we did it took us a lot of weeks a, a lot <laughs> it took us um a long long time to do that and like <laughs> so um that was one of the biggest projects we've done for fun of Fitchburg. but um we've also done little assessments like assessments of corner stores assessments of sidewalks and stuff like that so those are like the more um informational like um assessments that we've done but we've also done a lot of like fun stuff that maybe they can talk about <laughs> So in the summertime, to start off all the assessments, we did um, called Parks, a thing called Parks Week. And every single day we went to a different park that a lot of people didn't really know about. And we would have a big event there. So there would be kids, there would be food, healthy food, there would be music, there will be painting, and there will be active games. And we would do it from 12 to 6 every day, Sunday through Saturday. And Sunday was like the grand opening. And we basically just kicked it off and we started at City Hall and we talked about like the whole reason why we're doing it. And then throughout the week we did the same thing every day. And then Saturday was like the ending day and we had games, we had a basketball tournament and we had food. And um, before we all, before we started the, the um, Parks Week and the Park Audits and we did a thing called uh, Rock with Fun in Fitchburg. And um, we kind of went to um, most of the parks in Fitchburg, and uh, we uh, we uh, took interviews of, of people in the parks, of asking them if they think they thought um, Fitchburg was uh, a good a good uh, place to be, and what they want to change in Fitchburg, and what they want to keep in Fitchburg, and we just asked them a very very various amount of uh, questions. And uh, we would um, take pictures of them and to have release forms if they wanted a picture or not. And then we would have we made our own website. We we made our own website and put it up on there, so um, the families and the and the friends that um, had interviews could uh, look up on onto the um, internet on the page. And that's another organization that we did for Funny Fitch Break. So in other words, in Park Suite, um, the purpose of Park Suite was to encourage the residents here in Fitchburg to go visit their parks because there's a fear of going to the parks and there's a stigma of going to the parks. 
So the purpose of Park Week was to go to the park, celebrate our, our one week activity. Uh, it was one activity, uh, it was a weekly activity, but it was um, seven different parks on seven different, seven, uh, seven different days. And each park, uh, we had a different activity, had a different event, but mostly it was to try to encourage family members, every family member to, hey, visit the park. The park is clean. Um, the park offers um, a lot of resources. And at the same time, um, uh, we are, uh, our peer leaders were in charge of um, a lot of the, uh, the play activities with youth. Um, our staff here, our nutritionist staff, were in charge of sampling and giving out samples to, uh, to the uh, people who are visiting the park and encourage them to um, try out some of the healthy foods that's available. Uh, not all healthy foods, you know, taste bad. <laughs> and um, at the same time, we want to uh, just basically let the community know that, you know something, you have some resources here. And we found out that performing Parks Week, a lot of people who didn't live in Fitchburg, who happened to be here during those weeks, uh, during those days, uh, will realize that, that um, you know, your parks are not only clean, but also resourceful. And to the point where it's every day, we had some repeat, we call it um, groupies, but at that time we had repeat people that would come in, uh, bring their infants in, bring their child in, and would, would like, actually follow us in, uh, to each park. And each park offered something different as far as food goes, as far as activity goes. And we felt that that was kind of, you know, impressive. And hopefully we accomplished our goal was to, like I said, expose the park, 